Hi, I'm Jerry Jamut, and you are watching for BassPlayersOnly.com. Hi, everybody. John Liebman here. You're watching for BassPlayersOnly.com. We are here at the 2016 Winter NAMM Show, Anaheim, California. Look, I'm outside without a jacket, just a t-shirt. I'm a little cold, but nothing like back home. Speed it up. I'm here with a very special guest, Mr. Jerry Jamat. How you doing, Jerry? Great to see you again, John. It's always great to see you, and such an honor. And thank you for taking a few minutes for us at ForBassPlayersOnly.com. Much appreciated. Well, you know, thank you for taking time out of your life to create base play for BassPlayersOnly.com. BassPlayersOnly.com is my life, but thanks for the thanks Thank you. <laughs> much appreciated yeah. uh, you know what this is actually the third time we've we've uh, gone one-on-one -on -one in an interview for for bass players only so uh, the last one however was a little while ago so I want to bring everybody up to date on what's going on now and what's keeping you busy what's up Jerry well you know it's a continuation you know it's the same thing I was doing back then I'm doing now I'm just trying to take it to the next level you know which I find in life it's all about getting to that next level, no matter what you're doing. And my object is to give as many people the opportunity to have and develop a musical mind. Everybody hears music, they like music, but to be able to create music um, authentically, it takes a lot of, it takes work. And it takes many different types of work that, um, that, that can make it happen. Well, what's the project that, that you're working on to enable it's, that to happen? It's a color sound project that requires, at this point... That's the um, name of the project, the color sound project? Well, it's a, it's, color sound is nothing new. Pythagoras, 3,000 years ago, um, gleaned this out of the universe and the, the colors of the rainbow, and he assigned notes to them, okay? And it's the system that's been used for the last 3,000 years, and what I have done, I've updated it to include the earth colors. Um, to keep it simple. Um, and this will enable people to be inspired and learn by looking at a color, hearing that sound from a very, from infancy basically. Now for someone like you and me, it might say, well why take the time to relearn music using this system? I say, that's cool. But for other people coming along, it might be like, whoa. And for people that are already here who have a musical inclination, say, well, I might want to try it. It might be, you know, it'll be another way of doing it because it's, it's not for everyone. But I want to make it available for everyone. So what kind of results have you seen when people are exposed to this kind of thinking? Their mind just opens up. A light goes off. And it's having a musical mind where you're cross-referencing objects, sounds, colors, feelings, emotions, activity um, for, for different purposes. And to be able to put that all together into a, a three-minute phrase, basically, or maybe a, a two-bar phrase like we do playing bass. You know, and in drums, and I'll make music in general, to be able to have that concept that they can actually do this from scratch and not cut and paste, you know? And I, I'm using the cut and paste that's available now to demonstrate it, to show it, because it's an entree, but eventually it becomes, what do I'm seeing? I'm seeing green, oh, that would be the note F. But I want an octave higher, well, that would be an octave lighter shade of green. Wow. You know, so it's very exciting to be able to interact with the life that way musically. Where can people get more information about this? Well, if they go to my website, solarenergy.org, it's so U L E R E N E R G Y dot org. Um, they'll find a lot of information. You go to my Jerry Jamat and you know what website if you forget that and look at my discography if you don't know what I've done in life and what I've been doing. Check out those other two interviews. Go to forbassplayersonly.com yes. in the search thing. Put in Jerry Jamat and you'll see Aretha Franklin, King Curtis, and on and on and on and on. It's really something. In fact, Aretha's sister, um, both her sisters, Irma and Carolyn, I recorded them before I met Aretha. You know, okay. the piece of my heart that you hear Janis Joplin made a big hit out of. Yeah. That was from, um, she can copy that from Irma Franklin. I did not know that. From 1965. Wow. Yeah. I understand. No, no, 1967. Okay. You sure? I'm positive. Okay. I got a Grammy nomination for it. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, you are using a new amp right now that just came out not oh, too long ago, Trick man. Fish Amplification. And uh, it's really catching on. I've uh, interviewed several other uh, up, uh, several other artists that are using this up and coming company from Richard Ruse. Let me hear you tell me why you like it. What attracted you to it? And once you plugged in your bass and started playing through Trickfish amps, what was the reaction? 
Well, the reaction was I got my sound that I like to express myself instantly. Just, you know, with a um, few, few knobs, I was able to get my sound. And I always believe that an instrument, a tool, the, the, the bass itself or the amplification system um, should require the least amount of work. Okay? Yeah. So it's about less stress, less mess, more success. And it sounds great. <laughs> and with Trickfish amps, that is the case. There's less mess, there's less stress, and there's more success from your inability to express yourself. Um, the technology that they use is, is cutting edge in the sense that they're being able to make the digital amplification sound more natural and warm by um, Michael Pope, who was a part of the engineering team. I mean, it's amazing what they were able to accomplish and what they're knowing purposely what certain things do. Because the bass is a very insidious instrument, as I was talking to Chuck Rainey earlier. You know, we had a little brief conversation. And I said, you know, the bass is really you know, very insidious. I mean, the power of it is truly amazing. It has to be used with, you know, um, judicion. And when I started, um, it was about that, the feel. I was more interested in how the bass had felt on the floor and how I see the people move and dance. This is what it's about. And it's very subtle, you know, but now it's blown up. It's become more prominent and you have to control that prominence so you're still play, interplaying with the music so it doesn't overtake the music. You know, I'm, bass solo is cool. I do, I've written bass septets for seven bass players. It's all bass. You know, so um, a bass is wonderful. Whether you put it in a single solo context or duo context, as it being a accompanist, it's a wonderful instrument. And I encourage everybody to study the job of the bass, the art and skill of playing the bass. Um, to really see where the definition comes from. In fact, speaking of which, I'm working on a film also. Do tell. Called Forefathers, F-O-U-R-F-A-T-H-E-R-S. And it's about the history of the bass coming from the four string bass, coming back from my era. I love it. And um, it includes myself, um, Pakiti Kumalo, Chuck Rainey, Nate Watts, Tony Levin, Will Lee, George Porter Jr., and Ashton Barrett, known as Family Man. Family Man. Family Man. So we have a collected collection of bassists who were born between the 40s and the 50s who were like the beginning of the bass becoming more prominent. So I'm looking at getting that um, done, basically. Well, when can we all sit down and watch that film? Well, hopefully when we get the people behind us, we're looking at getting Ampeg and Fender, which were the instruments that we used during that time, to support us. You know, which is a natural, you know, no-brainer kind of fit. So, but things, you know, things take time and bring the right people at the right time. Um, but, of course, if the audience says it's just making phone calls, call in. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. <laughs> you know, it's, it's going to happen. We're getting the funding for it. Well, you be sure to keep us posted on oh, that. I, def I definitely will. Yes, okay. I definitely will. What else, Jerry? What else is coming up in the future? Your career is unbelievable. I don't know how you can possibly top what you've already done, but what, what's next for Jerry Jamont, after, you know, aside from the things that you mentioned? Well, what's, when you said that, it reminded me of what I found that thirst for, turning my notion that I had when I was a kid at the age of 14, and later on as a teens when I started playing electric bass, that notion that I could be one of the best bass players. I turned that notion into basically a devotion, and I put the time in with the skills that I had to do that. And it's important for people to realize that be able to have an idea, a notion, and really develop it to the point. So this is what I'm, you know, I'm still about doing, you know, in different ways with the color sound, with my um, solar energy, with the forefathers, and my own group, musical group, Solar Energy, um, which I've been using that name for, has somebody just reminded me, said, you had that name a long time, Jerry. Yeah, since 1978. Wow. So it's, not, it's nothing new. It's S-O-U-L-E-R, as I, as I explained before. Um, so... That's what's up, you know, that's what's really up. It's, you know, spreading the word, keeping the love, and trying to save the planet that we're all on. Jerry, it's always fascinating talking with you, and I look forward to our next conversation. Okay. Good luck with the film and the thank project you. and everything else, and thank you very much. Much luck and continued success to you. You look great, by the well, way. Listen, I tell you, all these things are going to make it happen. Absolutely. All the success that you speak of, what's going to, it's part of it, and you're coming out to me, reaching out to help, to facilitate. It's really about making a connection. I appreciate the work you're doing to do that. Nobody well, does it like you. Wow. Well, thank you very much. Coming from you, that is quite an honor. <laughs> 
with the bass legend, the music legend, Jerry Jamat from the 2016 Winter Nam Show, Anaheim, California. I'm John Liebman. You're watching for BassPlayersOnly.com. Mm-hmm. 